guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review of Home I'm Darling. This is a play that is currently on at the National. I haven't been to see it, I just read the book. But I've got a couple of notes in my National notebook. I also went to see The Meeting recently at Chichester Festival Theatre, but I'm going to do a separate video on this. So just know that this will come soon. I told you I was going to do more reviews, I just need a little bit of time. Just a little bit of time. So, Home I'm Darling is set in Monday, Day England. It is about a couple who are literally obsessed with the 50s and kind of live their own little life within the 50s. And it's about how they are like the perfect couple but how it all kind of breaks down. And it's really, really interesting. It's currently on at the National at the moment. I will leave links down below so that you can get tickets to go and see it if you want to go and see it. I'm gonna try and get to see it. I don't know when it's on until. Maybe I should look that up. It's playing until the 5th of September, so I've probably gotta go and see it next week or I'm not gonna get a chance. Oh well, oh. So I have my notes in my little notebook. Yes. Let's, let's get started. So it's written by Laura Wade who wrote Posh. I've seen the film of Posh. I haven't read the playtext for Posh yet. Don't know loads about it, but I enjoyed the film. So Laura Wade is quite well known. So I picked that up not only because it looked really interesting. I like the premise of it being almost golden age thinking. I'm a big fan of Midnight in Paris. So the whole golden age thinking is something that I'm really interested in. Overall, I gave it a four, four and a half stars. I really, really liked it. It was really interesting, really good. I would recommend you read it. I really did enjoy it. I liked the character development. One thing that I noted that I really liked was the fact that all of the female characters in this play are over the age of 30, which let me find this. But all of the female characters are over the age of 30. I am happy with this because there aren't enough um, roles for women in as an older generation. I think it's Emma Thompson's talked about this a lot. She writes a lot of her own work now. There's just not enough out there which worries me so that was something that really really impressed me uh the youngest person is um a character called alex and she's 30 um but the main character is about 38 i think judy is 38 boom there is sexism in it because it's going back into the 1950s and they're living a certain life and sexism was definitely brought up in feminism <laughs> I, I put inverted commas here i'll explain later basically uh they live their own life in the way of the 50s she stays at home cooks cleans does everything and he goes out to work work Johnny goes out to work and she's got modern day friends who are sort of just like you know don't you want to work don't you want to do anything and they're like well it's not very feminist is it it's like haul up you know and, it, and actually uh, was it Judy actually says in it you know um she says well it's my choice it's our decision that's what we want to do it's how we want to live our lives surely it's basically feminism to want to do that and i think that what laura wade brought up in this is that a lot of women are being criticized for staying at home or um not going out to work and not taking up these opportunities you know everyone gets to choose what they do with their own lives and i really did like the fact that that was brought up in this maybe i'm making more of it than what um than what it is in it but that was what came to my mind <laughs> they're trying to live a fantasy in a world that isn't sustainable or socially acceptable in um as the modern world as much as they would like it to be and it's just interesting for them to sort of realize that the world that they want to live in is no longer here and it's very difficult and so one of the characters alex who is johnny's boss she comes over for um cocktails or for drinks and you know judy goes all out as you would have done in the 50s and she's dressed really nicely and alex is a bit underdressed and she's sort of more modern and doesn't really you know care as much um drinks are drinks i guess and like Alex is suddenly very like oh god the whole house is 50s like and she's like trying to work out the rules here you know cell phones laptops do you have that and they're like yeah well it's a bit hard in the modern world but we try and cut it out as much as possible and then Judy's talking about like 50s values and Judy says 50s values I mean I do think back then there was more community people were nicer to each other and Alex goes unless you were gay or and Judy goes sorry and she's like I don't think it was very easy in the 50s if you were black or gay and then it goes into other things and it's I, I understand obviously it was very difficult um, back in the 50s for people of, of of different ethnicities and people who were part of the LGBTQ community but I did feel that Alex was attacking Judy for her life choices and again it goes into the whole feminism thing and it's like it's not very feminism, 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 feminist, feministist? I'm not gonna find the right word, am I? And her mum 
has a whole spiel that is that long <laughs> about how she's living in fantasy land and that actually you know it's not really that great and things like that yeah there were a lot of problems and judy is sugarcoating it but again it's her life to live not anyone else's and nobody should be judged for their life choices and how they live their life nobody should judge me for the fact that i ate an entire bar of chocolate in the space of three minutes you know but i did feel in some ways that judy was also holding herself up to impossible standards in a modern day age where everything's moved on technology is a part of our lives and we do have to incorporate it into what we do and she's trying to cut it out completely and i did feel that you know she was trying to make it too different she was making it difficult for herself and i did feel i'm not going to go into detail but i did feel that marcus was a definite nod to the me too movement and it does include um, the f uh, it does allude to the I've, I'm reading what I've written just so that I don't muck myself up. Um, Marcus is a definite nod to the Me Too movement, and it does allude to the fact that the 50s era and how society was has impacted all that has happened with the Me Too movement. I do personally feel that the way generations have been in the past has impacted what's happened with the Me Too movement. Uh, not to say that what's happened is okay, because it most certainly 100% is not. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> before I end up being sent hate mail. Yay! I did feel at the end that they compromised on their, not on their lifestyle necessarily, well on their lifestyle, but to for the sake of their relationship and the people around them that they love. And it was just very interesting that we, we can't always live our lives in our heads. We have to step out of that as much as we want to keep the world around us in our own little bubble. And, um, yeah, it was a really, really interesting play and I liked the way that the relationship between Johnny and Judy was. I thought it was just... It was very real. It was a very real relationship, the way that they talked to each other, the arguments, things like that. That, to me, was realistic. So I commend Laura Wade on that one. So, yeah, I guess that those are my points on what I, I took from, from this play. I really want to see it. I do think it's interesting. I would like... I really want to see it. <laughs> I would definitely suggest you pick this up. How much did this cost me? I think it was about £10. I got it at the National Bookshop. Um, if you are aged between 16 to 25, you can get a... You have to register online before you go in, but you can get 10% discount. So if you're of that age range, which I am, you can get 10% off at the National Theatre Bookshop. So definitely look into doing that. If not, you can get it online and I will leave a link down below. I definitely recommend you go and read this. I enjoyed it. I thought it was interesting. There were elements that have impacted women from the 50s to now that were brought up in this. And I, I liked that. I liked the fact that it was brought up, but in a demure way. In a way that wasn't in your face. It was almost a sudden realisation. And um, I think that impacts a reader more sometimes than having it put into their in their face so it's like you know having some starting in the middle of a protest or something whereas it's actually seeping in and you see the gradual realization of the destruct not destruction of someone's life but the impact on someone's life yes i'm trying to find the words Ugh. you know when you know what you want to say but your brain just doesn't want to say it that's me all the time <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I will be reviewing the meeting at, from the Chichester Festival Theatre in the next video you guys see. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you're thinking, what videos you'd like to see, if there's any plays you want me to review or go and see and then review. And I'll see you through a lunch time very soon. Don't forget to add me on Instagram and Twitter, Imogen DSC, and I'll see you through a lens sometime very, very soon. Love you guys. Bye.